Hello everyone, back to today's first video. We're going to have a quick look at uh, Royal Ascot for today's uh, first video. Someone's asked me if we do a forecast for uh, Royal Ascot. And if you want to see a uh, forecast for uh, events or uh, whatnot, then we're always happy uh, to do those if you want to see them then. Uh, will do them. So, uh, Royal Ascot is going to be taking place on tomorrow, Tuesday, 18th through to Saturday, uh, 22nd. Go through the charts and see what weather's going to be doing uh, for this event very uh, shortly. Just to say that uh, coming up later on today, we're going to have the uh, regular week 10 day video update. And uh, I think we'll also do Storm Watch Day. There's a chance of some further storms in the uh, next couple of days, tomorrow and into Wednesday. So have a look at that in Stormwatch, probably this evening. Right, so this is how things are looking tomorrow. Uh, this is Tuesday, 18th of June, which is day one of Royal Ascot. And uh, we've got a rather complicated weather pattern. We're actually in a car, which means we're neither under high pressure or low pressure. But there is a thundery low that's developing to our south. That will already be exerting some influence across southern parts of the country uh, through the course of tomorrow. Upper air temperatures are relatively cool through most of us, but they are trying to warm up a bit down in the south. So it will feel a little bit warmer, a little bit more humid, I think, tomorrow at uh, Ascot. Going to be a lot of dry weather through the morning, but this is the rainfall forecast for lunchtime. And we've already got some heavy showers, potentially thundery, across more southern parts of the country. Probably dry for Royal Ascot up to the middle of the day. But through the afternoon, we are going to see these heavy showers, potentially thunderstorms, moving up from the south. That's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, where we could be seeing some heavy rain at uh, Royal Ascot. And then that carries on drifting northwards, that area of heavy showers, potentially thunderstorms goes on drifting north up towards the Midlands through the course of tomorrow, uh, late tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening. So, uh, probably a dry morning for Royal Ascot, but uh, tomorrow afternoon could well see heavy showers, maybe thunderstorms uh, breaking out to uh, spoil the afternoon. Temperatures uh, are not great. So, before those showers get going, it'll probably be relatively warm. Temperatures up to around 20 or 21. It'll probably feel quite humid as well. But as those downpours come along, it looks as though temperatures will be falling away. So afternoon temperatures only seem to be around 15 to 20. That's quite a range, and it is indicative of the fact that if you keep any sunny spells going, it will feel quite warm and humid. But as those downpours come along, uh, temperatures will fall away quite readily. Then we go through to Wednesday, and uh, on Wednesday we've got this little area of low pressure across England and Wales, particularly through the morning, that's that thundery low, drifted up from Biscay. Uh, so that low pressure is across England and Wales, on uh, or across eastern parts of England, I should say, on Wednesday morning, and it's drifting away into the North Sea. Upper air temperatures still look quite warm and humid down in the south and southeast, but it's turning cooler and fresher from the northwest as that low pressure moves away. Now, this is the rainfall forecast for 6 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. Again, more heavy showers or thunderstorms possible, possible across this southern and southeastern corner. That is affecting, potentially anyway, uh, Royal Ascot, so there could be more heavy downpours overnight, uh, Tuesday to Wednesday, and then into Wednesday morning. Most storms tending to push over towards the eastern side of the country, so after perhaps a lively start to Wednesday, it tends to dry up through the course of the morning. And then those storms and the heavy rain clears way into the North Sea during Wednesday afternoon, leaving us with a brighter, fresher sort of sunshine and showers type situation. So then we go into a more uh, sort of showery type um, pattern as we go through into Wednesday afternoon. So probably quite a low risk of showers, I would have thought, for Royal Ascot on Wednesday afternoon, but there could be uh, one or two coming down. But the main rain risk seems to be kind of like Tuesday afternoon to Tuesday evening and night, and then um, into Wednesday morning, and things dry up through the course of Wednesday afternoon. Temperatures are going to be cooler and fresher as that thundery low clears away. So uh, we've seen temperatures there forecast be around sort of uh, 15 to 18 degrees. You can normally add a degree or two on, so you're probably getting quite close to 20 degrees in the sunny spells. But uh, will be a fairly fresh feel, I think, for day two of uh, Ascot. Now we're into uh, Thursday. Day three is looking like that. We're sort of in a showery uh, west-northwesterly flow here for uh, Thursday. 
Our air temperatures are lower. We're bringing the air in from the North Atlantic uh, now. So um, it's cooling down with the upper air temperatures. And it's basically just a case of sunshine and showers. And again, in this pattern, I think Ascot has a decent chance of staying dry. Can't be guaranteed. Uh, and there could be a few showers blowing through. But overall, I would have thought Ascot is, Ascot is quite likely to be sheltered uh, from the showers on Thursday. So probably not a bad day. Sunny spells, maybe a few showers through the course of the afternoon. Temperatures around 17 to 20. So a bit below par. It remains rather cool, really, for the time of year. But uh, in the June sunshine, we're virtually at the longest day. The sun is at its highest point in the sky now. It's not going to feel too bad uh, at all in the June sunshine. That's Friday when we're starting to build up a slight ridge of high pressure across the country, which looks uh, a little bit better. Upper air temperatures remain stubbornly cool. Uh, no sign of those warming up. Again, it's sunshine and shower, but I think the emphasis is more on dry weather for Friday. Any shower should be mostly light. And I would have thought mainly in the north. So again, Friday could well be a dry day uh, for Ascot. Not too bad uh, there. Temperatures, they remain very, very disappointing for like the second half of June, below average. But uh, even so, 16 to 19 uh, is going to feel OK in the sunny spells, in the June sunshine. Won't feel too bad. But if the sun goes behind cloud, or of course early and late, when the sun's either rising or setting, it is going to feel pretty chilly, especially for the time of year. And then we finish up on Saturday, the final day of uh, Royal Ascot. We'll see high pressure building across the country, actually a nice little ridge developing over the country. Upper air temperatures, they remain below average. They remain cooler than you would expect in the second half of June. But under this ridge, again, a lot of dry weather. There is a suggestion there of a few showers breaking out through the Midlands and East Anglia. not sure what's causing that because we're actually building a ridge of high pressure up. So I would have thought mainly dry again for the final day of that. got a few showers, can't be ruled out, but probably mostly dry with sunny spells and variable cloud. And it's a little bit warmer too, because there's more sunshine. Temperatures are up to around 21. 21 is 70 Fahrenheit. And uh, again, there's nothing to get excited about, but in the June sunshine, won't feel too bad. So once we get um, sort of tomorrow afternoon, then tomorrow night and Wednesday morning out of the way, where we've got the risk of this heavy thundery rain coming up from the south. Once that gets out of the way through Wednesday afternoon, it looks like it's basically going to be OK for us. It's going to be a lot of dry weather to enjoy. A few showers coming and going, yes, but nothing too bad once Wednesday morning is out of the way. Uh, temperatures remain stubbornly on the low side, so no sign of anything particularly warm. But, of course, due to the strength of the sun, due to time of year, when the sun is out, won't feel too bad. Right, if you enjoyed this uh, weather forecast for Royal Ascot, then please like, share and subscribe. But let us know in the comments that you're enjoying what we're doing. If there's any other uh, uh, weather forecasts that you want to see, um, events, uh, forecasts that you want to see, then uh, do let us know. And if you want to see them, we're always happy to do them. Right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.